Weirdos asks, there's a rumor that DC may be deleted permanently. Is that true? Um, as I told people, we have now, I think once I release this, it'll be 41 days left. And I'm just saying that in these 41 days, we need to kind of rekindle, revive, rechange, and rejuvenate Doodle Club and Chroma Club with kind of new changes that actually reflect things that are now possible and more appropriate for kind of what's going on you know like we need to allow for more projects we need to allow for a world where you can chat with your friends in your own space you don't have to go to a club or to the main chat you can do it in your own space and we need to reflect some better game design or game development so that's what these 41 remaining days are for i ask those people who really do love doodle club and chroma club doodle club or chroma club to help out to meet me, give me ideas, give me feedback, and watch these videos and tell me what you think of the virtual world as I make changes to it. Next thing, Endy and Ocelot ask, I know DC is kid friendly, but have you ever considered a teen mode for us people who want to draw more adult doodles? Just asking. Um, let me know what kind of doodles you want to draw and I'll consider it, but um, I think more or less you can pretty much draw a decent amount of stuff, so we'll see. The Godly Girl plus Wonder Woman and Captain America Fangirl asks DCH opinions on the new songs of 2013 to 2017. Also, did you ever watch Scooby Doo as a child? Um, I think I saw reruns or something else. I mean, I saw I saw some some Scooby Doo stuff, um, but it wasn't necessarily something that I would go out of my way to watch. So it's not something I completely cared about. I thought it was pretty cool. I think. I think that's about it. Now, for the new songs, I think some of the new songs are really cool. I like Sia's songs, you know, um, Unstoppable and um, and The Greatest. So so I think those songs are cool. I'm trying to think of, I mean, there, there's some pretty good songs. I try to listen to some of the new ones, but Sia really stands out for me. And, um, and I think, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Uh, but but really oh i guess hamilton hamilton's pretty cool so so yeah so there's some pretty good songs um okay raven queen of darkness asks hiya again dch hope your week has been fantastic so far i have a question regarding the background colors of dc remember how you changed them around holiday times i don't know if you're still going to do that or not but if you do could you please give a warning out to the players in advance the reason why i ask is because some of the colors can be bright and blinding especially at three in the morning so if you could find a way to warn people that'd be much appreciated thank you um okay i'll think about that i, I was thinking about changing the colors for easter but i think in that case the colors won't be too blinding maybe we'll just have easter eggs at the top so thanks for the suggestion Amu the Emo Hipster asks, who was the first to join Chroma Club? If you can't answer who then, or uh, if you can't answer who, then what do you think it was like being one of the first people in Chroma Club? I think I was the first member of Chroma Club and it was fun, but dude, we got to change it. The point is it's about creativity. And I saw that you couldn't really do amazing projects in Chroma Club. So we'll change it and we'll see what's up. But thanks for the question. Silver Dog asks, do you like to draw food? Um, I think I'm cool with that. It's not something I'll go out of my way to do, but that's a cool idea and I'm, I'm fine with it. Lexi asks, how long do you plan on keeping these games running? I hope forever. Um, we will see. But look, dude, we have to change. Look, guess what? You know the players, some of the players that have been playing for four years or even five years? You have changed. Things have changed with you. We have to change Doodle Club and Chroma Club so that it reflects something that's attractive to not only the old players, but also new players. When new players see Doodle Club and they compare it to kind of what's out there, they're like, why would I even download Doodle Club? So we need to make changes. And as long as it changes to reflect my personality and my passions and it also resonates with some other players, then I think we can keep this going. Okay. Neon to Wolf asks, what was your inspiration for Doodle Club? Also, do you watch and like Doctor Who? Uh, my inspiration was pretty much my desire and, and joy of doing creative stuff, doing creative projects, love working and meeting with other people to build stuff and create stuff. So that's really been my inspiration. Beautiful asks, can you make a weak project about a sad love story or drama, please? 
uh, you tell me what kind of week project we, we could have with that, and I will definitely consider it. And finally, Smugpug asks, what does CCH stand for? Please answer on wall. Just really want to know. Um, I did answer on, on their wall, by the way. And CCH, for those of you watching that don't know, CCH stands for Chroma Club Helper. Okay, well, that's it for today. Thanks again for all of the questions. Tomorrow, I hope to actually have an update on the virtual world and I hope to then get feedback on it. I've gotten some great suggestions today. Thanks for all of the people that are going out of their way, especially Ghost and Godly Girl, who are going out of their way to give me specific and awesome feedback to improve the virtual world and the doodle world or whatever you want to call it. And we will discuss it more or show it off tomorrow. Thank you. Take care and embrace the power of the doodle.